him that we could make one step back and make any compromises. Therefore, it's still a, a luxury uh, high performance sedan uh, with the beast inside. Uh, you'll see that it has 560 horsepower under it. It'll go 0 to 60 in 4.4. Um, you can still put five people in it. You can still take it to the track and put it off in it. Uh, born on the Nürburgring, uh, ready to go to the office. Um, I call the lean high performance machine. This is the young twin turbo power uh, that we have. It's, uh, it's a new development. And it's not something we've just taken out and said we'll just stick it somewhere else. Rather, we said we're going to have to we have this untouchable, no compromise feeling behind it. And we have to make sure that we can do certain things to exceed yours and also the customer's expectations. Therefore, we said, okay, we get 10% more horsepower out of it. We'll get 30% more torque out of it. But on the opposite end, with the with the new twin turbo technology, we were able to get 30% less fuel consumption. So that's also a benchmark in its own self. Um, if we go to the next slide, another thing we said, I like this statement: yes, you can choose good or evil. This car can go both ways. In that aspect, um, we totally redesigned the end settings where you can individually with the HUD um, start standardizing and saying, oh, I like it this way. No, the acceleration needs to be a little harder. Um, there's also some standard feature settings within it with, uh, with the M1, M2. So the driver can sort of switch. Also in city traffic, you can tone it down a little bit so that the torque is not going as much to the back end so it's not such a jumping feeling within city traffic. Um, in any case, the BMW 95, you can change your mind whenever you feel like it. And I think this is a, also a pretty strong statement in the new development. Um, with all this new development in the, in the front end the, with the motor, and everything with BMW M has to be a perfect package. Therefore, we, we have to have maximum traction and not a single newton meter of wasted. Sorry, I just came from Europe. I think you call it foot pound torque. So please forgive me if I, I say one or two references. Uh, I've been Germanized for a while, although I'm from Alabama. Um, the whole chassis was, was, like I said, developed at the Nürburgring, totally redeveloped. We also have a new feature in the back, the M Active Differential. This basically takes the bus system, develops a signal with the chassis, and diverts the torque from left to right, zero to 100%. Therefore, you can have 100% on one side, zero on the other, depending on the driving situation.